<laughs> Let's talk about the wild card game, yeah. man. Diamondbacks, who's the starter? It's not going to be uh it's not going to be Woody, right? No. You know, to me for the years I mean, the very first time I got to cover baseball play this was 82. I got hired from TV 18 in August and they went to the World Series that year. So I got to cover all those games. Wow. And all these times the six times that this franchise has been to the postseason, you know what? I always had a sinking feeling because to me, if you don't have but back then it used to be a 20 win pitcher now it's about 15 if you have at least two of those guys you're not going to win seven game series at the end and that's always been the brewers problem they always had some great sluggers i mean when i got the first start cover of it yount and molitor and gorman thomas and so this group here is what they've struggled at times offensively but here they've got three solid pitchers that's enough to win a seven game series uh and and so you got corbin burns and Freddie Peralta came on really nice this year. But then yesterday, Brandon Woodruff, who missed four months of the season with this injury in his right shoulder, it's, it's, the, it's where it provides the fluid for the joint to, to, to perform properly. Injured it. He, it started having pain last weekend when they were in Miami, and now they've shut him down, at least for this week. I don't know. It doesn't sound good. So now you're back down to those two pitchers. The other thing about this matchup, is this Diamondbacks team. I remember covering a matchup uh, for us in June and here at Ampham Field. And this Tori Mabello, former infielder, a career baseball guy, he's a, re- he's a very competitive manager. And when you get to the playoffs, man, managers make all the difference in the world. And he gets his team fired up. He was kind of, uh, he was kind of on his way out the door. He talked to these guys into a one-year extension. And now he's got him back into the playoffs. So, this is going to be a tough matchup for the Brewers. As a matter of fact, I think the Brewers lost four out of six times against Arizona this year. Mike Clemens, uh, our manager, Craig Council, he's on a contract year. He theoretically could be the Mets manager next year. I know he's been deferring on this. You know, why would I think ahead when I've got a lot of baseball and some memories to make? Uh, Mike, what's the, the talk in the clubhouse, the talk in the stadium? Exactly, Cootie. And it started in August when it was, you know, some of the beat guys figured out, you know, he's getting close. I mean, this guy's clearly going to got a shot at getting in the playoffs. Why isn't the team talking extension? And all Craig says, yeah, that's something I want to talk about after the season's over. And then you hear that the former GM, David Stearns, is now headed to his dream team, his dream assignment with the Mets as the president of baseball operations. And, this, you know, the next time that, that Craig Council was asked about it, you know, he pushed that up. It, it's a little bit of leverage. I think I, I think that he and Giannis might be in the same way. Like either the team gets me some more resources, or maybe I'll go to a team like New York where they spent three hundred and fifty million dollars on the payroll and that they, they they picked the wrong players. But I think the reason that the viewers <laughs> the, are here they're still is hapless, Mike Council. Clemens. The Mats are still oh, hapless. Well if that's the case, Mike, I mean oh, that kind of money is oh. never gonna get spent in Milwaukee, right? Right, but you know it's also who you're picking for players, and you've got guys that already bank money. If they're not really focused and putting in the effort, then you're going to have a horrible season like the Mets did. Mike Clemens, uh, any other insights? Burns going to be the starter tonight, right? Any uh, anything you can tell us about the rest of the lineup? Burns is going to be the starter, and you know Christian Yelich is going to be the leadoff, and you know you've got these guys you brought on like Carlos Santana, all that. It should help produce runs, which is what the Brewers need to get through this series. Mike Clemens, thanks for checking in. American Family Field first pitch a little over a half an hour from now. Mike will check in later in the week. Thanks for being there for us. Thanks, Mike.